into the start box. We go for the final time in 2024. We are green here and already a lot of side-by-side -side action. Aiden Rudolph goes to the lead of this race early. Vasquez falls back to third. Jake French there still in second. Over the curb there, Vasquez looks to work his way through. Cohen Summers, a couple of CRGs up there for the MSL Racing team. Everybody side by side on this back straightaway. Vasquez stuck on the outside. Cohen Summers looked to go through. He was able to get it done. Faulkner already making up a couple of spots, but Vasquez stuck in a swarm here, and this is not what he needs in a championship. Rudolph is absolutely running away as everybody for second on back continues to fight here. Yeah, like a horde of uh, angry bees on the opening lap. These K100 drivers able to fly out as we have a fall. Oh my goodness, multiple drivers pressing Pico among others off of the racetrack. I think Cruz was also off on the racetrack there. You saw him come back onto your screen at the fi at the last moment. So Cohen Summers with a lightning start, able to get around Jesus Vasquez Jr., but Jesus was able to get around them again. So you see Truly and Cohen Summers both working, I mean fighting, sorry, uh, through turn threes and four. It's Cohen Summers now gonna fall under fire to Truly Adams here on the back straightaway. Adams on the inside on that factory cart. He's able to get clear, but overshoots it under braking. Summers able to set up that over under nicely and retake the fourth spot here. And that gap for Aiden Rudolph opens up just a little bit over two and a half seconds. And this one, Musgrave almost sideways on the exit. He gets together with JD Lamping there, and they lose a lot of time to the rear bumper of Truly Adams. You even see, uh, I think that was Taylor Roddy getting around his teammate Xander Clement, so a really good move there from Roddy up in front. Oh my goodness, JD Lamping and Billy Musgrave make contact. Billy has to move, oh my goodness, a bit of a unsafe re-entry to that track, and it, it you know, a bad deed from uh, Jaden Lamping there. It seemed to bite him a little bit when coming through the corner as he loses a bunch of positions. There's Peyton Phillips on the track now. Peyton Phillips going around. Uh, Sawyer Roussel there for that position. A little bit of a bumper there from Sawyer Roussel. A bit of uh, elbows out racing there. Only tripping over each other's feet as now you see Cruz go down the outside of everybody. They're almost three wide coming into turn 11. Justin and us, Beckett Friesen and Joey Friend there coming through the final few corners there. Justin Music just right up of the road. Yeah, that entire mid-pack battle is just a complete swarm here in this race, and it doesn't seem to be cal calming down to one bit. Everybody side by side, elbows out racing all throughout this field. The battle for the lead and the battle for the championship is uh, still in the lap of uh, Jesus Vasquez Jr. Rudolph continuing to pull away here early on in this race. That gap sits at 2.8. Vasquez setting fastest laps of the race, but uh, with Rudolph setting really identical lap times, this is uh, good for Rudolph. And again, with the fastest lap, uh, the championship still goes the way of Jesus Vasquez Jr. And that would be obviously unfortunate here for Aiden, but uh, he just needs to keep it on the racetrack, needs to continue to push, continue to, to try and inch his way away from Jesus Vasquez Jr. The, the battle for the lead, uh, just that uh, under three seconds. And you see there Rudolph in a zip code of his own, and then it's Jesus Vasquez Jr. on a track that he's very strong at. He is really doing well. And you see Peyton Phillips down the inside of Taylor Roddy there for, I believe, P11. So Taylor Roddy and Xander Clements get spit, split up by the uh, fast Peyton Phillips. We'll see if Peyton Phillips tries to get around Xander into turn 11. He has a bit of a gap between Xander, so the draft is definitely gonna come into effect. You see him suck up right to the bumper. Where is he gonna go? To the inside of Xander Clements right here into turn 11. You see Xander look over and he even is able to get around Xander into the breaking zone. Justin Music is definitely catching Cohen Summers down this straight. You see Cohen tap his helmet. Is Justin going to fall through? No. He's going to go down to the inside and then last second pull back in because Cohen Summers wasn't going to let that happen. He wants to work together with Justin Music to get up to uh, Truly Adams and try to maybe file through and maybe even make two spots on him. As now Cohen Summers goes down to the inside. Is Justin Music going to follow him through? He tries his best. Cohen Summers gets the point and Justin Music almost gets overtaken back by Truly Adams. Good clean racing through there. He's absolutely flying on that MSO. Racing CRG. The same goes for Justin Music, who surprises Summers there into turn number five. Justin Music, the rookie, is able to get clear there. That gap just is closing down, but not enough for Jesus Vasquez Jr. as uh, Rudolph goes two tenths slower that time around uh, compared to Vasquez Jr. And this story, uh, this year for both of these drivers has been great. Rudolph's worst finish to date is second in 2024 and he's had a great year battle for the championship and battle for race wins and heat race victories every single time 
that he hit the race track there. And the same goes for Jesus Vasquez Jr. The first time we saw this kid was last year in Odessa, Texas. He was super impressive at a racetrack that he had just driven at. And it, it honestly started as a, a, just a getaway trip for him and, uh, and his dad, Jesus Vasquez. And then uh, at the final round of the Texman Racing Series in 2023, he put on a clinic at Speed Sports Racing Park and won that race. And then this year comes back for a full season with new colors, a new chassis for him as well with uh, the Trackside Karting Services GFC. And this kid has been absolutely impressive all the way from California, has surprised a lot of people from Texas and put himself on the map this year. This is a kid that we're gonna be talking about a lot through the next couple of years and finds himself in a great position. 28 spots gained for Peyton Phillips. And I think it's even more than that, 29 spots gained. Peyton Phillips, this kid, when we get to Las Vegas later on this year, he's going to be one to worry about, Rocco. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he isn't in the championship hopes of this race, but as you see, Cohen Summers now getting overtaken by Peyton. I mean, just a corner after a corner. This driver cannot stop making overtakes. He's almost suffering from success. With a white flag in the air, Rudolph gave this championship everything that he had to fight against Jesus Vasquez Jr., but it shows you why Vasquez is in the position that he's in. These two kids have been super, super impressive all year long, and they continue to provide us with great racing action. We hope to see more battles like this in the future with two kids that, uh, you know, gave everybody in the paddock emotions, lined the fences every single time that they hit the racetrack. They were uh, always kept the fans and parents and team owners on their toes, kept everybody with emotion here at the Tech Spin Racing Series. And they've uh, done a great job to make their teams proud, their uh, their dads proud. I know uh, Jesus Vasquez uh, Sr. is proud of uh, seeing Buddy J lap around and uh, almost a victory lap for him here in the championship. And the same goes for Alan Rudolph and Aiden Rudolph, uh, a very close relationship in between those two. Uh, father and son duo that have come up through the ranks together year in and year out. The same goes for you and Jeffrey. He's going to be happy to see that CRG Norda machine back on the top step here in Amarillo. Aiden Rudolph is going to win in Amarillo Kart Complex. But in 2024, Buddy Vasquez Jr. looks set to be your Texas Sprint Racing Series champion inside of sportsmanship in between those two drivers who have had many battles, who have been uh, unhappy with each other time and time again this year. But at the end of the day, we're all in it for the same thing, and that's to, to have fun and, and to give the emotion, to take the emotion home to everybody 